there was a very large presence for thousands of years uh, before the first white man settled in the area and this was their hunting grounds, a fishing grounds area. But in 1846, the land along the river that had been home for generations of Native Americans became home for Elk Rapids founding father, Abram Wadsworth. By 1850, he built the first little sawmill on a little spit of, I of land that's in the middle of the Elk River. It was a rushing rapid, and that was what they needed to turn wheels of uh, grist mills and sawmills. With mills came pioneers and a need for a name. He happened to be walking along the beach, if you will, where the Elk River, today's where Elk River empties into East Grand Traverse Bay, and there was a legend has it a pair of elk horns laying on the ground. And so he picked it up, and that is how the Elk River and Elk Lake and the town got its name, Elk Rapids. By the early 1860s, word of the timber that surrounded the river got out, and in came two men, Henry Noble and Wart Dexter. The pair got to work buying up land and cutting down trees. I think Mr. Dexter and Mr. Noble were in the right place at the right time because it is said that almost all the lumber that came out of Antrim County went to rebuild the uh, homes and businesses of the 1871 Chicago fire. A booming business, but it wasn't enough. The Dexter and Noble people decided they wanted to expand their business and they founded the Elk Rapids Iron Company and it was a pig iron smelting operation. And it's supposedly Elk Rapids pig iron went as far as England. And that started in the 1872. So you had more people up here working. You had the cement operation working. And someone figured out that they could uh, take the exhaust fumes out of those charcoal kilns and make um, acetate lime and wood alcohol from it. So a chemical plant right next to the iron smelter was built. It was a working man's town. It was a dirty town, if you can imagine, with charcoal burning 24 hours a day, a blast furnace, and another cement plant on the south side. But like most of northern Michigan, the timber ran out for Elk Rapids, the first punishing battle blow in what would turn into an economic war. After the 1920s, you had the Depression hit in 1930. And in the early 1930s, and with the closing of those plants, the population of Elk Rapids was about 650 people. But with time, things turned around. Those boarded up homes abandoned in the Depression saw a new purpose. They bought their cabin on the lake or their cabin in the woods, and the population increased. Tourism became uh, a big thing. It was the water that first brought pioneers and dreamers here, that drove its first industries, and that may serve as its biggest draw for years to come. If you love the water, this is the place to be. The water is Elk Rapids' biggest asset.